What's up guys? Oddman105 here, and welcome to this week's Podium Vehicle Customization and Review Video. And just like the previous weeks, check it out. Here's this week's Podium Car. The Pagasi Torero. If you guys want to know how I win Podium Cars every week, there will be a link in the description down below for my video, and I'll also post a link for that video right about here. Now, for those of you who are new to my channel, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate your support and consider subscribing while you're here. It's absolutely free and it helps out the channel a great deal. Don't forget to click that bell icon for future notifications, leave a like or two, and don't forget to check me out on Twitter at Oddman105. All right, let's begin. Okay, so the Pagasi Torero is designed after the real life Lamborghini Countach, an absolutely beautiful classic car. So I've already done a video on one of these. This is my second Torero, so, uh, and I've done that one in red, so we're going to do this one in a totally different color. So what I want to do is keep true to the classic supercar tradition with this and not go over the top. Let's get in this thing, take it over to the Custom Vehicle Workshop, and get started. What can we do to it? Okay, here we go again. Now what do you need? Armor, 100%. Brakes, race brakes, bumper, front, kind of like the original bumper, but the extended bumper looks cool too, so let's get that one. Long vented, Don't she look pretty? rear, okay, the diffuser doesn't fit, okay, we'll keep it stock, body work, headlight covers, okay, Okay, let's go primary masked. No rush at all. Rear panel. Kind of like that stock. But then again, it does look pretty cool in black. You know what? We'll leave it stock for the time being. Engine. Engine cover. Let's put some louvers on, and it's only because I want a little more black contrast on the car. So, exhaust. That's it for the exhaust options? Okay. Let's go chrome. Hood. I like the smooth, clean hood, so we will leave, we'll leave the stock hood as it is. The horn will leave standard. Lights, headlights, xenon. Look at her now. We won't do a neon kit. Plates, and you guys already know what it is. Looks almost as good as you. Black and yellow, baby. The respray, primary. The problem with this vehicle, with it being an OG Super or Sports Classics, is that it's got very few customizations. It's got some decent ones, but not many. For the color, we're going to go metallic. Um, I've already done one in red, but this car has got beautiful, sharp edges on it. So let's bring that color out. Let's go yellow. You've got an eye for this stuff. And we will leave the pearlescent alone. Spoiler. You better believe we're putting the spoiler on this thing. Okay, those are just ridiculous. Oh, okay. All right, let's get it. Girl, Classic lip and spoiler. Good. Suspension. Slam it. That'll stop you Transmission. Back. Full upgrade. Turbo. Full upgrade. This turbo come Wheels. Wheel type. This one's going to be tricky. I think what I want is in tuner. And I want a nice set of five spoke on this. Wait. That's it. That's what I want. Unless there's something else. Whatever yep, that's what I want. Let's get those. Technology and budget permitting. Wheel color. Let's put those puppies black. Nice. Now it's starting to come together. Tires. Tire design. Yes, please. Enhancements. Bulletproof. 
You're not gonna smoke. Black tire smoke. Nice. Windows, and you know we gotta darken them out. And look at that. That's a nasty looking car right there. Okay, and I think that's it. Yep, that's it. So, when the sun comes out, we will test drive it. But for now, let's go ahead and park this thing. I'm always Beautiful. I love it. Alright, guys, and we're back. And check this thing out. Yes, sir. That yellow and that black go beautifully together. I love it. This thing's going to sparkle in the sun. Okay. send it. Now this car is decently fast. It's not a slow car for a sports classics. Handles really well, surprisingly. It's a really fun car to drive. Now it's not necessarily competitive fast anymore, but it's still a decently fast car. Brakes. Braking could be a little better. But you've got pretty decent acceleration, you've got decent handling, and uh, a pretty good top speed. This is a nice car to own. You guys need to try to get this thing this week while you can. Alright guys, and we're back. And this car right here is a child from the 80s supercar dream. I swear it is. This thing is awesome. I'm glad that I went with the yellow because it brings out the sharp edges in this vehicle. And the black accents do this vehicle justice. I love the way this car turned out. Now, performance. This is not a slow vehicle by any stretch of the term. It's decently fast. It's got a pretty decent top speed on it. The problem is the braking. Okay, it's not necessarily a competitive car around corners anymore, but this is still a fun car to drive and definitely worthy of your sports classics collection. Now, this vehicle retails for just under one million dollars on the in-game websites. If you guys are a collector of these things, you need to consider getting this one. But as with any podium car, don't buy your podium vehicles, win them, and use my technique for getting your hands on this vehicle to add it to your collection. And with that being said, this video is a wrap. I've been Oddman105, aka The Odd One, coming to you live once again from the LS Car Meet with this week's podium car review. The Pegasi Torero, an absolute beautiful car. If you guys found this entertaining, then you know what to do. Smash that subscriber button, hit that bell icon, leave a like or two, and don't forget to check me out on Twitter at Oddman105. And I will see you guys when I see you guys in the next video. Please stay safe, keep bringing that smoke, and take care out there.